Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Euro coming at you once again with another Legends of Rune Terror video. Today, I would like to share with you guys a Ash and Sejuani deck that we managed to pilot, as you can see, at 8-1 during our stream today. Firstly, I want to say a special thank you to Faint HD for sharing his deck with me, and we were able to climb quite effectively after having a pretty rough start to the day. But as you can see, starting from about here, uh, one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. Eight wins and one loss, which you kind of, kind of got a little bit unlucky and maybe a slight misplay too. So this could have definitely been a nine and zero. Oh. Unfortunately, we misplayed in this game, but the deck is super powerful. We versed a bunch of current meta stuff. We versed Heimerdinger twice and slaughtered it, so that felt fantastic. We versed a couple of variants of Endure, uh, Elusives, and kind of like the Shadow Isles Noxus deck. So the deck is performing very well all around. I might continue to play this one and a bit of Elusive Burn to try and get myself into Diamond, but I can highly. I recommend you guys have a shot at this deck if you have the cards because it's very powerful let's jump across have a look at the deck so it looks like I did get a few likes on my previous video in terms of maybe it's the way I set up the video and maybe it was just the video in general, but thanks for that guys. I'm going to continue and do the same format I did last time, kind of using this cool background and just kind of get a little, trying to get a little bit creative and try and stand out a bit. I'll just go over the deck very quickly, don't want to go into too much detail, but basically the champion cards that we run are Ash and Sejuani. Ash is the mostly built around card here, but Sejuani is a very powerful champion standalone without too much synergy required, but she does bring the the frostbite package which does go along with ash so ash basically is a champion card that levels up from frostbiting enemies once you've done a certain amount you'll be able to level her up which places a crystal arrow on top of your deck where once you draw that uh, you can use that to frostbite your opponent's entire board and then also when she's leveled up uh, enemy units with zero attack or frostbite frostbite i'm pretty sure cannot block so it kind of like leads to this turn where you set up ash and you just Kind of like attack with all your units and they can't block and then you just kill them one turn but usually you kind of chip away with a bit more of a mid-range strategy and sometimes it doesn't even come to that and you just blow them out with cards like a verosian trapper putting uh, five five yetis into your deck which you're able to draw into very easily uh abusing that mechanic with trifarian assessor to get plenty of card draw and it's not hard to have some pretty blowout turns i recommend if you're versing this deck be careful with cards like assessor that card's gonna blow you out from time to time. Obviously, we're gonna feature Captain Farron in this list at the moment. Uh, shout outs to Faint for adding that one in. But Farron's kind of just popping up everywhere at the moment. We're gonna run a couple of Farrens because card's kind of strong and it could be a really big finisher towards the later half of the game. Let's talk about the spells really quickly. Reckoning is another card that's featured in here. If you have an ally with plus five attack, you're gonna kill all units with four attack or less. Absolutely insane in this list and can seriously blow out some matchups, including Heimbeninger, which felt really good. A harsh wins for more frostbite synergy, setting out favorable trades with your big beefy mid-range units. Flash freeze is a one of, I guess Faints included. He didn't want to go too deep into the frostbite side of things. I believe he was worried about getting those clunky hands. But still, flash freeze is very powerful. We have the culling strike, which is proving to be quite effective at the moment, especially with Braum running around. It's a great card for countering Braum. Also super powerful against Heimerdinger. I didn't realize how good culling strike was against Heimerdinger, especially when you run frostbite cards to one of the niche scenarios that doesn't not often not happen but you're culling strike the heimerdinger after they play it they're forced to pretty much twin disciplines it for attack at that point you drop a brittle still or a flash freeze and it puts their attack down to zero they still get the buff but culling strike still kills it very cool scenario when that happens very very cool couple of elixirs of iron to keep our uh, key units safe and Brittle Stills as well. So also just to note, Brittle Still works off the HP. Flash Freeze freezes anything. Brittle Still is if they have three HP or less. You can actually find yourself sometimes trading into units, causing Brittle Still to kind of still be quite just as effective. Coming back over to the units, we have Averose in Hearthguard, very powerful. Almost an auto include in any mid-range deck that has Freyold. You're gonna probably use Hearthguard. Uh, Assessor we talked about, goes along with all the five attack units. Uh, insane card draw. Sometimes you land a buff on Assessor itself from Omen Hawk. It can draw cards from itself. Kindly Tavern Keeper. I like this inclusion as a three of. Uh, not only can it heal your Nexus against aggro, but you can actually heal up your units to keep them quite well protected. In matchups where healing your Nexus is important, board control is important, definitely use Tavern Keeper to heal your units. Don't overlook that play. Averosian Trapper. Almost an auto include a lot of frail decks. Almost an auto include. 
Uh, three mana, three three, which puts a one mana five five in the top three cards of your deck, I believe. That's insane, insane value. Uh, Ice Veil Archer, great mid range two drop. In some matchups, it gets dealt with quite easily with like Vile Feast, etc. But in some other matchups, it can be quite detrimental. And it's a good counter to your opponent's slow plays like Vi or playing a big unit like Lidros. Drop the Ice Veil Archer, you can freeze it by yourself some time. You can also Culling Strike alongside it to clear units, so very synergistic there. Uh, Averroes and Sentry, almost a, again another auto include in a lot of uh, mid range frail, de frail decks, and even control decks that might not be as mid rangey are probably still using Sentry. Uh, 2 mana 2 1, last best draw a card, uh, is pretty self sufficient. And Omen Hawk is actually just a 2 of in this deck, and I believe that could be strictly because. When you draw Omen Hawk early, that's the best point. But I guess you might argue, should we include three copies? Look, I'm running two copies because this is strictly Faints list, no changes, and it's been working out so well for me. So eight and ones, definitely no joke. Let's go play some games. Again, if you could leave a like, if you enjoy this format, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys. And if you're if you be if you've been popping in a few times, subscribe. I'll be posting videos quite regularly. Thank you. I would love to beat a Heimerdinger, guys. That would be... Oh. I think I kicked the uh, Ash and the Ice Veil Archer. We always kick the Ash because that's what... um, That's what your boy says to do. I, I agree with that 100% now. Yo, Lewis. His name's Louie, by the way, and the other one's called Luna. I'm not not sure where she went. These old eyes still see far and clear. Hog Mystic Shot going into my Avaros in Century. Feels cringy. We got the we got the combo to beat Heimendinger every time. Something like Trapper here would have been splendid. Feels awkward, man. I tank the four, right? Uh, yeah, I gotta play this. I need to force him to use the ammo beam. Otherwise, he could just have a powerful Heimerdinger a turn. Oh shit! Unexpected twist of offense. Buffed Ash. There you go, faint. I guess he really wants to do this Heimerdinger a turn. Hey. And we've got the combo to beat it. Unless he has a deny. Okay, I guess he has no Heimdinger in hand. Guess I'll play Avrosian Hearthguard. What is his hand? What is his hand? Was that from the top? Let's immediately go for this. I could almost go for the Reckoning instead of the Coloring Strike. Honestly, I think the Reckoning might be better. It's a bit more susceptible to deny though. Arcanus, wow, lost three games straight. Yeah, you sure did. If I just play the Coloring Strikes here, I beat I beat deny every time. And then these can be used against um, when he goes wide. So this is going to be correct. And then what he does is he goes for the um, the buff with twin disciplines for the attack. And then Flash Freeze beats that every time. Every time. Because even if he had mana for another twin disciplines, he would not be able to buff from zero to... Wow. Absolutely counted, dude. 
I guess, do we chill for now or do we want to kind of really punish him and go hard on the removal? He obviously didn't have deny there, otherwise he probably would have played that instead. <laughs> I guess we chill for now, guys. Actually, no, it's still, it's still his attack token, isn't it? It is still his attack token. Going down to nine, this means I only lose to like triple get excited. I guess that's a card I don't want to deal with. So I'm actually going to use this now. We could always draw another one. It makes our top deck coin strikes not too clunky. Uh, we'll have to see what happens though. This is the call out I'm making. Snap decisions. Um, yeah, we're just going to open attack here. How much, how much pressure do I need to be putting him under here? Yeah, just an open attack. Nice. Two Heimerdinger is down. He's getting absolutely punished right now. Oh, I feel so good to be fucking up the Heimerdinger. You guys have no idea. Archer to level. Maybe. I'm gonna frostbite this. Duh, man. How far do you go to commit to this fire? We've had every answer for his card so far. God damn, it feels good. <laughs> uh. hey, this, this makes us roughly a 2-0 against uh, Vi, doesn't it? This is cool. I think this one's buffed. Kind of strange. Would I ever consider playing the uh, the buffed up version? Probably not correct, right, guys? Probably just replay this one. And do we play it now? Yeah, I think we do. He might have a clear. We might not. Okay, what do we do here, guys? What do we do here? Probably just chill out a little bit. I will just open attack here. Can't block with um Vi. I forgot Ash was leveling up. More of a reason to swing. Lost more removal out of him. Yeah, he's getting stomped right about now. Like I don't I, I don't know how he gets back into the game. All it takes is one high mitting of the stick in this instant swing. But if he ever goes under deny, then the reckoning is actually really powerful against all those elusive units. Fuck, the reckoning's broken. Look at this. Who's ready to reckon? All right. Play Farron. I could have collinged it, yes. I'm also thinking I could play lots of decimates and kill him. I can also steal calling now. I guess I'll try it. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Anti Heimerdinger. We had an insane hand. Surprisingly, we missed on, we missed out on some of the early game too, but it was just wow, super strong. People loving their little gauntlet icon, aren't they? I honestly don't care though. Is that bad that I don't care about gauntlet? Strictly because I feel like it's just like half stones, extra game modes. Or am I am I just toxic for feeling that way? Like I, I, was, I saw it, I heard about it when they announced it, and I just wasn't that excited. I guess I'm just too competitive. I guess we're just toxic, aren't we, Arcanus? <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, dude, these these pentakill songs are so intense. Do I ever block this? What are we versing? Vi. Um, no. Aristocrat really bums out our early game. Especially I never keep Ash so she can get buffed. Hmm. You know what? You might be right. Six for Ash is nice. There we go. Quick tips. Don't keep Ash in the opening hand. If he has Thermo Beam, I can get countered here if I don't play the 4 1. This is just strictly to stop him from attacking with Elise. Looks like he still goes for it. I would have loved to have played the 3 1, but. We'll manage. What's Skype? I was using this for Farron yesterday, but today Faint deserves it. See the Nebastian border from here. Yes, I learned that the hard way earlier today. The nerf to endure does matter. Gauntlet offers good XP to new players. There you go, guys. Good XP to new players. Get on it. I keep forgetting to equip the cat. People literally redeem for me to equip the cat, and yet I keep forgetting it. Caster and Vonyup. Uh, Caster and Softman need the cat. I wonder if I should have played Hearthguard last turn. How badly do I need this Yeti immediately? They run two Ruinations. Arcanus, try Gauntlet with Burn Aggro. Ease wins. There you go. This is a League of Legends song? Odyssey Rock Suit Part 2. There you go. Space Odyssey theme, correct. Nice ears. It's got four cards in hand. This deck runs card draw that is specifically rummage.
Harsh winds can always beat atrocity. So much removal. <laughs> I should develop a reasonable board. However, the singleton copy of Karina will definitely throw me off. I'm presenting lethal damage. The hand right now is why I didn't want to add frostbite. Yeah, it feels kind of awkward, man, but you're not always going to draw double harsh winds, double brittle steel. We're just facing Karina. We can still win with a strong board. It's definitely a winnable matchup. As long as we keep up the pressure, it makes it awkward for him to actually play. This is good that it's not going into my face. Give me a big, a big unit. Acceptable. Hopefully no Karina in hand. Do I attack first? Hang on. He always wants to play Lidros here. At the moment I'm pushing 8th with a chance that my unit dies. We should play Trifarian Assessor. This is nice after he plays Lidros. He may not play Lidros here. Kind of has to play Lidros here, unless he has Karina. Ooh, he may have Karina. The cool thing is if I, if he does play Lidros, we can push a lot of damage. I really want him to play Lidros here, but that's not the correct play. Especially if he has Karina in hand. Karina is going to be a bit of a bummer, I'll be honest. Bye. Unfortunately, I don't think I played Tavern Keeper yet. play Farron here. We trade here. Puts it down to 3 or less HP. Actually, Brittle Steel is kind of optimal compared to... Um... Yeah, Brittle Steel is not a bad choice, actually. So I can lose if I don't... Hang on. What can I lose to? 
Double Mystic Shot's a card I could lose to if I just open attack. Why did he play the other Lidros? I guess he lost track of his hand. Unfortunately, I could lose to a mixed combination of cards that kind of forced me into playing Tavern Keeper first. And if he was to play Ruination, I don't think that's too bad because I can follow up Decimate, Decimate into Decimate. Okay. I wonder if I should have Brittle Steel plus Calling Strike here. Oh shit, that was a mistake. Oh, it's okay, he's dead anyway. So we can just let this go through. It's a GG. Um, I also could have Brittle Steeled into Calling Strike to clear this before attacking. But he also could have played Vile Feast as well. So it doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it's GG. Played. Thanks for sharing your deck, uh, Fane. We're gonna be climbing to diamond in literally no time. Literally no time at all. might even take the Wheel of Fortune for a spin, just to prove how, like, playing meta decks doesn't always work. Correction, this is kind of a meta deck, but still very powerful. So, Faint said, don't keep Ash. I'm not going to keep Ash. I will keep Culling Strike, though. I think that's going to find a lot of value in this matchup. Nice! Strong hand. Faint, Craigasm, 100%. We're always happy to make this trade. Uh, Purple Fish loses a lot more value from tra this trade than we do. It bricks Navori Conspirator in his hand. B Carthguard. Oh, he misses the two drop or he's kind of playing passive. Uh, Trapper always comes down. This is cookie cutter plays right here. I'm happy to make this trade. If he open attacks, it means he hasn't got Zed. Okay, we'll play this. Trades into the Wayfinder. We could take a value block. That's probably not effective though. Okay, let's do this. Cookie cutter plays right here. I'm pretty sure we play the half guard. Oh. Hi. Where you going? Dinner. Huh? Dinner. Love, you. Love you. Have fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. We fight for one That's Tanya. This is why I cut Wayfinder from my uh, elusive deck. I cut King Cow Wayfinder from my King Cow Wayfinder deck. I made it a little bit better sometimes. Or I minimized my frail cards. I think maximum for Allegiance, I prefer to run five cards, not six. You'll commonly see decks that have six of the opposite region. I don't like it very much. Value blocking. How does a value block here make any sense in a wayf Wayfinder deck? We might as well trade into the Sentry and get the, get the unit off the field. There's almost no reason to be value trading. Powerful hand, by the way. We 100% do this into Assessor. If we find Reckoning, it puts him under a lot of pressure. 
and they don't always run a lot of denies. Harsh winds are great too. Wait, did he play another Wayfinder and missed it? Oh no, he just, yeah, he didn't. I don't think I necessarily need to open attack, but he can play the Hatchling here, so that's the one scare card. Uh, does attacking order matter? It may matter a little bit. Let's go biggest to smallest, I guess. Yeah, this is like really strong until he's Wayfinder. Uh, Hatchling, sorry. His name Cloudy Days with a chance of mushrooms. Lol? Cloud Drinker. Do we just kind of like get a little bit of healing up now? What's what's correct here, guys? I think I just um I don't know. I gotta play something here. At this point, I guess I play my bigger units in case I do find reckoning. Riddle still. Riddle still is gonna be amazing here. Yeah, maybe not anymore. So we'll pass. Harsh wins insane against elusives. Five and zero. Powerful. I'll leave a link to your Twitch and everything. No stress. Just make sure you go and leave the video. Give it a like. Don't watch it because it's already you've already seen it. Just jump in there and give it a like. Leave a comment too. It helps with the algorithms quite a lot. 